Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is a little uh, blog about what I do on my job. So today, we're doing grease strap. Oh, not good. Um, it's not just your, this in this job. It's not just your. It's not your. It's not your regular grease uh, grease strap. It's a different type of grease strap. So. Um, we gotta find out what we gotta do, or we gotta call it a, a no go. So, normally a grease trap is under your sink. You know, there's a little container goes in there. You go in there, you empty it, or you put a treatment in there. But for this restaurant here, join the Jews. It's way different. It's not nothing of what I've seen. It's, it's underground, some buckets, things like that. Um, I guess because it's Maryland, it's probably like that. But it's mostly in DC and Virginia. And mostly the grease trap, what I've seen is you have a bucket, it goes from the sink, water goes in there, grease, uh, grease stays in there, water keeps going. So, and here in this restaurant, I'll give you a little sneak peek of how it looks. So, basically, when I find out, give my boss a call, let him know that we got your suction. Another thing like that for this goose trust is it's different because normally you just go in there, you you know, suck it all out. But it's treatment on there. But this one, I don't know how long it's been in there, but this is it's bad. I have to open it up. I don't want to open it up and show you because it's disgusting. Um, but we will find out. Come on, boss. Make a couple calls, and I'll be right back. All right. Um, I'll let y'all know what he says and see if if he's if he's gonna call a company for this um or if he's gonna want me to go get a bigger suction so he can get it out and main it um but that's a little sneak peek of what i'm about to do today the next call should be a little easier it's gonna be more like electrical i gotta change a part on an hvac furnace that broke from um, the, the barrel where the fan motor fan goes in the hvac it broke the cage I call it a hamster cage because it's like it looks funny. I'll show you a video of that also. <clears throat> so you can see how it goes. But I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. So spoke to my boss exactly what I need to do with those grease straps. So today we weren't going to empty them out since they're probably a quarter halfway full. Um, we're going to come back in a month and do it. All we did needed to do today is maintenance it. So main is it uh, basically just putting some chemicals in there, break down basically just pour it in there, pour it in the hole. And what this chemical does is breaks all the uh, all the excessive that's like against the walls and everything like that. And kind of like deteriorates all that nasty stuff inside the uh, grease trap. And basically we just makes it way easier to suck out when we suck it out. It's not like chunks of it getting stuck in the vacuum and all that na nasty stuff. Uh, so basically what we put there is that like an, an enzyme chemical that bit in it has it's like nice and smells good it's like citrus so this is how it looks like it's a little enzyme product enzyme magic and that's what it does it basically cl it cleans out grease and all that nasty stuff that gets stuck to walls all that good stuff so yeah, this is what this is about um, it's a really good chemical I basically you pour it in there and it just does the job on, does the job on its own so that's all I had to do uh, basically I opened it up opened those uh uh, those two tops that I showed you in the in the earlier, um, open it up, pull the top up, basically drop it in there, drop drop it in the hole, Keep just pour right a little bit right on the on the where the grease on everything like that. That's where it starts eating the, all that nasty stuff up. So basically, we'll come back in a month to the same location, join the Jews here in uh, Bethesda, Maryland, and in basically we take we just take that out. This is really good. Um, Basically, uh, and it basically, this is what SI Magic is for. It says it right there, drain, drains and grease straps. Well, that's pretty awesome, right? Um, they're they're not that bad. We we'll buy basically, we just buy a whole box of them, uh, which is, you can see right there. We we'll buy a whole box. Turn right of it. onto Rhode Island Avenue Northeast. And it comes with about 28 packages. And basically, uh, in big drains like that, like the ones that I was working on today, you uh, you pour down two packages on each and it worked perfectly good so which is pretty cool um 
basically that was a little bit a little blog about basically grease traps um it's really good uh you should if you if you ever own a restaurant or want to own a restaurant and basically you want to basically save your money cost uh cost and basically you want to help yourself save some money man buy some ensign magic drinks and grease trap basically for digester that's what it's called grease and waste digester buy some of those packages pour it inside the grease trap and basically starts breaking all that nasty stuff that way when a company that you when you hire a company a grease a trap clean, cleaner company um they won't charge you an arm and a leg to clean it out give you all this uh you know all, all this uh dinos are like well we need to clean this we need to clean that when you know when they sucked it out and you look in there and it's perfectly nice and clean because you did what you needed to do to keep it clean right so that's what i recommend if you have any questions about the product or any questions about grease straps or anything like that hit me up i also do plumbing so if you have any questions about plumbing you know hit it in the comments or anything like that and i'll be i'll do another video like i do i'll comment you back about any recommendation like oh or price stuff like you know how much around how much you should be basically wasting on on cost on plumbing work um let me know please hit the thumbs up if you like the video or, and subscribe to my channel. I will really greatly appreciate it. Y'all have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Take care. Happy Friday. Happy Valentine's Day, too. It's Valentine's Day. Gentlemen, for your lady, make sure you take, uh, treat your lady good. Take her out. You know, take her out to eat. You know, buy some flowers, some chocolates. Um, you know, edibles are really good. So keep that in mind, gentlemen. And ladies, if your man likes carts, Give them car parts or money for car parts. That's what they love. Um, or just a signature of uh, love and affection, you know, anything. And I mean, for myself, uh, I'm a very simple man. My wife gives me whatever uh, shirt or pair of shoes. She just got me a pair of shoes for anniversary, which are awesome. Nike's Air, Nike Air 270. Turn left on they're the third street, they were, They're awesome. Um, I love it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a little uh, advice for the ladies and gentlemen. Y'all take care. Y'all have a great day. Peace out.